Hello there, God bless you. You are welcome back to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, God bless you. Thank you so much. I love you and I'm happy to have you back here on this channel. And if this is not your first time, thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for yielding to the voice of the Holy Spirit that let you hear. And I pray that this is going to be an encounter for you. I pray God is going to use this channel to minister to you prophetically, to tell you the mind of God, to help you know God better, to help you in your relationship and in your walk with God in the mighty name of Jesus. So kindly check to see if you're already subscribed. If not, kindly go ahead and touch that subscribe button. And please do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever there's a release of a prophetic word, you will be the first to know. You never know. You never know when God wants to minister to you. You can't afford to miss out. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Um, the Lord laid this word in my spirit. He said, someone is coming back and this is going to be their direct word. I am sorry. I regret everything I did. Please take me back. This is going to be their direct words. They are not coming so you can judge what happens. <clears throat> they are not coming so you can um, talk about the things that happened. They are not coming to blame you for anything you did. They are coming because they have realized, they have self-actualized, and they've come to the knowledge they did wrong, and they need your forgiveness. You know, so many people... Um, only learn based on the things that happen to them no matter how many times you tell them what they are doing is not right no matter how many times you try to bring their they bring them to the knowledge of the wrongs they are doing they will not get it until they actually um, experience the consequences of it the Bible says even Jesus the Bible says that Jesus suffered um, he lent obedience by the things he suffered. Even Jesus, our Lord and Savior, when he walked the earth, he only learned how to obey. He only learned obedience by the things he suffered. So inherent in humans, it's the, it's the desire to be daring. It's the desire to try. It's the desire to want to explore. And when they hit rock bottom, they come back to their senses. When they, when they meet danger, they cannot surmount. They come back to their senses. So um, it's, it's okay. It's okay to, 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 to give people another chance. It's okay to let them explore. It's okay. And with that depends if you are still in that position when they come back to you. But when the Bible, when, 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 when God began to give me this word, he brought one scenario to my mind. The story of the prodigal son. He woke up and saw his father. His father was a very wealthy man. And he thought to himself, why am I here suffering when I can go ahead and enjoy my life? Why am I here suffering or trying to work when I can actually demand my inheritance from my father to go enjoy my life? And so he decided, he told his father, he said, please give me my own inheritance. I know you are still alive, but it's okay. Just give my own inheritance. Settle me. I want to go and, and be on my own. I am all grown up. I can't wait for you to die. Just give me what is my due right now. And the Bible says his father gave him. His father did not resist. His father gave him and he went about to a faraway land, to a faraway country. And the Bible says he squandered all of this with prostitutes. He squandered everything he had received, all of his inheritance. He squandered it with prostitutes. And when the money got finished, everybody left. The women he was hanging out with left. The friends he was with left. He had no help. No one to help him. No one to be there for him. He even found himself walking in a pigsty. Life became so difficult for him. So much so that he had to feed from the food the pigs fed on. That was how bad life got for him. And he told himself. One day he just, he just sat and said, Why am I going through all of this when my father has so much and even the servants that are in my father's house they have enough to eat i am here i don't even have what to eat but the servants in my father's house they have so much to eat that maybe they even throw food and he told himself i will arise and i will go back to my father's house i would tell him dad 
I'm not worthy that you call me your son. I'm not deserving of the title of sonship. But if only you would forgive me and take me back and make me as one of the servants, I would be glad to be here. All I want is just to be around you again. All I want is just to be around my father again. I have made a mistake. I acknowledge my wrongdoing. And if you give me another opportunity, not as a son, but just as a servant, I am going to be very grateful. This is the same thing. There are people, when they are with you and you are giving them all the good treatment, they tend to casualize or trivialize it and they feel like they can have better anywhere else. They feel like life can be better. Maybe they want to be adventurous. You're a very calm and collected person and they start saying you're boring. They want to be adventurous. They want to go out there and test the waters. They think they can find better. They think um, they are stuck with you. You are choking them. They think life is all rosy out there. It's okay. Let them go. Let them go. There are people God told you about. There are people God spoke to you about. God said, this is your kingdom partner. And when they start agitating and it feels like they are in a cage, it's okay. Let them go. When they go out and the world stings them, they will come back. They will come back crawling. They will come back begging. And the good thing about them coming back is that they are not coming back to a place of authority. They are not coming back to a place of dominion. They are coming to submit to your love. They are coming to treat you right. They are coming to value you. In that relationship, they are going to value every aspect of you. They are going to appreciate every effort because they have seen that there is not better anywhere else they have seen that no one else is they have seen that the life of, of adventure doesn't pay they have seen that it's not about um, um the all the excitement it's about having someone that stabilizes you and keeps you calm now this word is for you we're still sitting there and hoping maybe you're holding on to the word god told you about a particular person and you know you did nothing wrong to cause them to go. Maybe they are in a state in their life. Maybe they are in a state in their life where uh, they want to be adventurous. They are in a state in their life where they want to taste everything. They want to be sure you are the one for them. Stay calm. Stay put and trust God. They will come back begging. They will come back feeling sorry for leaving you. And by the mercy of God and the help of God, you are going to build a very beautiful relationship. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you.